little gal named Sally Gooden And ask her to marry me that she said you wouldn't Okay, this is a very short video instructional on painting a kayak paddle blade. As you can see, this is a Bending Branches kayak paddle. It's a fiberglass handle and the blade is a polypropylene according to bending branches it's yellow which most of them are for very high visibility while you're kayaking the problem for me is I like the bending branches but I don't want them nearly as visible for a couple of reasons Number one, I do some hunting, and you don't want this high visibility interfering with your hunt. Number two, is I do a bit of stealth camping, and having a camoed, or a dull, flat, even just a black paddle blade, is much preferable over this high vis you don't get detected near as often. Now, the problem is that if you're out in the middle of a lake or a highly trafficked river, they're not going to be able to see you as well as with this compared to this. So I'm going to show how to paint this to get it to look like this. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paddle, half, and weigh it on my scale. Because I'm interested to see just how much of a weight difference it might be. So I'm just going to set my paddle here and try to balance it. I'm getting about one pound, almost three ounces in that range. So about one pound, three ounces is how much this weighs. And again, that is only half of the paddle. I've already done the other half. So what I'll do starting out is get rid of this I'm using methyl ethyl ketone or MEK instructions for cleaning I want to clean this off before painting it instructions for doing that with polypropylene say to use a solvent like this. Now this is some nasty stuff. And you don't want to use this in unventilated area. You want your area to be well ventilated. I'm doing this outside. I'm going to do the edges. So we want to paint those as well. We don't know exactly how well that's going to hold up on those edges, but we want to give it every opportunity that we can. It's 
so we are fully clean. I'll replace this. I can't stress enough. This is highly flammable, very nasty stuff for your lungs. Well ventilated area only to use this solvent. So what am I going to use? First thing I'm going to use is Krylon Fusion Satin to give it a flat surface and this is black. The other that I'm using is Krylon Fusion. It's also satin. And this one is green. Black and green. So I'll start by shaking this up. Move your drip edge away and let's paint. I don't mind getting a little bit here, but not way down. From there up is fine. It's a little shiny right now, but once it dries, it'll go flat. I'm letting that dry for just a couple of minutes. And now taking the green.
We can compare that against this. This is the one we just did. It's still a bit shiny. This is much flatter because it is fully dried. Now, let's try the scale again. So not much difference in weight at all. If anything, it may have been an ounce or so. And so that is it. We'll see how they hold up.